Hey, hello you guys. This is Aaliyah here. I just got done going to MB2. It was crazy. <laughs> I mean, crazy in a good and bad way. I mean, I met this one guy. He was a big, tall guy. Uh, like, tall. I'm five foot six, seven. And when I looked at him directly, I was looking at his chest. And I had to strain my neck to, like, make eye contact. He was being very, very uh, sweet in a weird way. He uh, <laughs> he came up to me and just started, like, kind of dancing. So I was like, okay, I'm going to dance with you, too. And he didn't really put his hands on me or anything, and that was really sweet. But he started to get closer. And it was just like, hey, our bellies are touching now. Like, like, but then again, the club was getting more and more packed. So I don't know if he was trying to get closer okay, or if he was just getting pushed up on me. Uh, after that, uh, I told him that I needed to go to the bathroom. Like, I danced with him like 10 minutes belly to belly. I couldn't do it no more. I lied, said I was going to the bathroom. I actually walked into the bathroom, and then ran upstairs. He found me, though, and he was like, oh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm about to go home. And he was like, you know, go with me. So I pretended like I didn't know Korean. Well, I don't know Korean, but I pretended I didn't know enough Korean to know that he wanted me to go home with him. So I was like, okay, bye-bye. And he was like, oh, do you have a number? And I was like, no. I mean, I do have a number, but... I'm going all the way back to Mokpo. He's not going to be able to see me. And he slightly made me uncomfortable. And so I didn't give him my number. And then... <laughs> I'm horrible. After that... Uh, so after that... What happened after that? Oh yeah, he was walking away. And like as he walked away, he kept looking at me. Like, mmm. Like, mmm. And he went in for the kill. You know, but it was a sweet kill. He uh, gave me a kiss on the cheek. And I, I thought that was, it was pretty cute and innocent. Um, made me wonder if he had mental problems. Because he was being really kind of simple and sweet. Um, you know, I thought like it was kind of strange, but it just got worse from there on out. Yeah, um, but that's a whole other story. It just got worse, and it was crowded, and <sighs> I went by myself. Don't go to MB2 by yourself, you guys. Get a posse. Like, if I'm in Korea, hit me up. I'll go to MB2 with you if I'm in Seoul. Like, I have to plan that ahead, but if I'm in Seoul... Or you planning on going to MB2, just hit me up and I can be like, oh yeah, I'm in Seoul that time or next, maybe next time. Like, I need to go with other people. I didn't go with other people this time. It was a mistake. I mean, I met people while I was there and they were nice. But don't go to MB2 by yourself. I don't know about MB1, but MB2, don't go by yourself. Um, that's it for this little, uh, MP, 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 to Avengers. Uh, I will tell the other story next time. I mean, the other story could tie in to what happened recently to me in Korea. And that's more of like a kind of serious thing and like how I think no means no and like, manjima, don't touch me, is very important to say in these cases, but I'm just rambling on now. Uh, but yeah, uh, next, next story, next time that I'll talk to you guys about MB2, I'll disclose something that happened to me, um, very serious in Korea, and yeah, but right now, just tell you about the sweet guy I met. You know, because there's something nice about meeting someone who's who's 
so sweet as he was. But he, it was sweet enough to make me wonder if he had mental issues. I don't know, you guys tell me, am I wrong for thinking that he had mental issues? I mean, but he was in a club. But you can get into a club with just an ID. Uh, I don't know. Bye, talk to you later.